Now I'm going to add in the mui choy. How do you call mui choy in English? Eh? I think it's still called pickle veggie, right? Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Tonight, Appa is going to make a simplified version of Mui Choi Khao Yok. Yeah? Uh, as the name suggests, you will need some uh, Mui Choi here. I have one small bowl of Mui Choi, uh, costly chopped, and then you want to soak it under water for at least about 10 minutes to remove the excessive uh, salt. Yeah? Uh, then after that, we have approximately 250 grams of pork belly here. I actually blanch it. It's uh, optional in this case. Uh, usually, if it comes with bone, then I will definitely blanch it. This is pork belly is without bone, so sometimes I would not blanch it. Up to you. Today, I did blanch it and then uh, cut it into uh, cuts like this. Yeah. After that, you have a few pieces of ginger, some uh, fresh coriander uh, roots and some garlic. And last but not least, we have some 13 spice powder. You can also use 5 spice powder to replace. Um, you can also add in some cinnamon stick, um, star anise and also bay leaf. We're going to saute the pork belly for a couple of minutes to, give it, to brown it a little bit and also to allow uh, some pork fat to render out. By doing so, you will, when you eat later, you will find your pork belly is, will be less fatty and has an extra flavor because of the uh, browning. Right, this is after approximately 3 to 5 minutes sauteing. You can definitely see some browning going on here. The pork fat has already been rendered out about at least about 20-30%. So the pork belly now is less fatty. So next thing, we can actually put in uh, the ginger, coriander and also garlic to saute. If you don't want it too oily, you can also, uh, before adding this, you can also remove some of the oil. It's fine, yeah? Up to you. Wow, super fragrant. Ooh, super, super fragrant. I wish you can smell this, guys and ladies. I find it's more ladies follower, by the way. 75%. <laughs> Whatever you see on Appa's video or channel, these are all my family dinner. I cook for my family, yeah? Right, so the next thing, we are going to add in some Saoxing wine. hot water about one tablespoon of light soya sauce about half tablespoon of uh, dark soya sauce this is to give the color and of course Papa will be adding my chicken stock powder to give it enhanced flavor one teaspoon. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt. We go light with the salt right now because later we will be adding in um, the choy, yeah, the, the mui choy. Some sugar. So once this is boiling, I'm going to add a sorry. I'm going to add a little bit more water here, just to allow it to uh, reduce. Once it is boiling, I'm going to close it with a lid, tune down to medium low, medium or medium low for approximately ten minutes before we continue. As usual, Appa forget to add my thirteen spice powder. <laughs> About a half teaspoon. Let it continue to simmer. 
Alright, this is after approximately 8-9 minutes simmering. You can definitely see the broth has uh, reduced. Now I'm going to add in the mui choy. How do you call mui choy in English? Eh? I think it's still called pickle veggie, right? Give it a few stir. Few dashes of white pepper. And I'm going to close the lid again. Let it simmer for another two, three minutes, then it is done. Right, it's after another three minutes. It's basically done. Uh, you can have a taste if it's if you find it too salty, you can uh, feel free to add some water to dilute it. Okay, done. I'm going to dish it out. Here's Appa Moi Choi pork belly. Give it a bit of fresh coriander on top. Done. If you like my very simple video today, uh, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa. YouTube channel. This will go very nice with white rice and also white porridge. Bye-bye!